Hey guys, welcome back to Watch the Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are on the LZ Alpha on a cycle 676 and it is base maintenance day. I know, such a sexy topic, but we have like moved all our duplicates over here, leaving this sort of shell of a base behind us. We've had various projects where we've been moving gases around and uh, various liquids and stuff and we've, we've generally just left most of the pipe work and the gas lines and the, the power networks in place and I think it's time that we went round and fixed a whole bunch of that. Uh, I'm going to start by just throwing down a few ladders. Yeah, I'm going to start by making the problem worse, but we need to make the problem worse to make it better again. Uh, and we're just going to go around and have a look. I happen to know that there are a few things around that need working on, even still just from here. If I press F6, look at this line here. What's this about? Well, we wanted to move a whole bunch of petroleum around and uh, we, we don't need to do that anymore. In fact, we have somewhere else where we're trying to get petroleum from. Now, that, that will be something else we obviously go and have a look. Okay, oh, a little bit of a glitch there. My apologies. That is definitely something we're going to be heading towards. And in fact, this uh, this this deconstruction line here will be taking us down south for that. I don't know, do we call down south? Is that is that the way the orientation on this asteroid? I'm not entirely certain. Whilst we're here, I do have another line that I need to take out. We were cooling down this water over here using uh, some gases. We decided to move this onto a liquid system instead. We're just using a little bit of of uh, water going through a liquid bridge and this takes all the liquid up into here it's actually um ethanol my, my bad it takes it up to our anti-entropy thermo nullifier you can see we've got a bit of a problem where it's not actually able to keep up with the demands of the heat that are being pumped into it i've got a, a few ideas of how to rearrange this area including creating a vacuum up here and a different um, entry method to uh, to segregate the water i mean we're dealing with smaller amounts of a liquid but as i say we want to try and take out a whole bunch of this stuff hopefully uh, the duplicates will come around quite nicely behind us and grab all of these not causing any troubles of course trying to go into the cold zone for them will be a bit of an effort but most of them are wearing exosuits on their way out of their on the way out of their apartments it is only most of them unfortunately we haven't quite got to the point where we've got uh, such sustainable oxygen that all of them have got it you would have thought with, an, uh, with a system like this that actually would have been working fine but we are experiencing mild power outages almost all the time and this is something that we most definitely need to address do I want to leave the rest I want to leave this system in place because it's always nice having somewhere to dump some liquids uh, and get it into the pipe network but I'm not sure that I want to keep the rest of the pipes like Everything from, from about here onwards, I feel, just needs to be got rid of, uh, including that little sticky out bit there. So yeah, we'll be going back and working on this later on in today's episode. It's just high time we came along and tidied all of this up. Trying to make the decisions on what is necessary and what is not anymore is actually a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Going around being like, well, do, do we need this bit anymore? Because we've got a gas pump and a filter, but they're all broken here. Um, and whilst I do want to deal with this, the uh, the main way I'm actually going to go about dealing with this problem is through uh, through deletion methods. So uh, yeah, I, I don't know whether I even want this anymore. So I'm get rid of it. I'm sorry, I'm getting rid of it. Okay, we're gonna go carry on up here, and I think this is probably the point where I've got legitimate. Uh, waste pipes going okay as suspected miss line mad frank going around doing the business wonderful wonderful uh it'd be interesting to see what order they uh, they take it all on it looks like they're going top down uh i'm not sure if any of any of them are going to go inside the the cooling chamber over there looks like maybe not Okay, what's there down that way doing that? Let's have a look at this area up by the steam to, uh, steam vent over here. We've got a gas pump, but I don't think we're actually using it anymore. In fact, it has been full on disabled. Uh, is this because of this over here? Let's uh, let's quickly have a look at the automation overlay. I don't think it actually wants to be hooked up to this at all. Uh, let's indeed check this. Yeah, no, no, we're just we're just going to wipe this all out here. Uh, it just doesn't seem 
to be necessary. Whoa, that's been left on high priority for some reason. Uh, we're going to take out as much of that as we can, though. Of course, this has been walled up now, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get in to break the, the gas line. And I'm going to take this all the way to this pump here. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's tidy that up. What is going on with this? Uh, we appear to be chlorinated under the water, and we're not melting stuff anymore. Uh, we did have a little bit of a problem where we were getting up quite high in temperature. I've noticed that the problem is that the water that comes down out of here sometimes has to be cooled through the aqua tuna. I'm wondering whether we actually wanted to have set that up inside of here. Um, it's being pulled from the base power anyway. I was like, yeah, we could, we could use it just to warm the water up a bit and like kill some of the germs. But now that we've got this set up, I'm not even sure if we need that anymore. One thing that I might actually find myself needing to do, those of you who are familiar with the game will notice already that I've got a bit of a weird setup on the go over here. Now, since the beginning of this series, I have been proclaiming my uh, my disdain for a certain mechanic in the game. We call them the liquid lock. Uh, it's because there is uh, the, the mechanics of this game only allow a single element in a, in a block at any one time. If I press the F4, you can see that this liquid phosphorus here is not allowing the steam into that area. Uh, now, now you can use this to create uh, an area of vacuum that your duplicates can pass into. A duplicate can pass through a liquid, it can't pass through a solid tile. So if we use our knowledges together here, we could probably set this area up to allow me into this area without uh, breaking the hydrogen seal. I want to set up the cooling on the inside of this tank. I want to I want to get it better. I want to smear it all out. You can see that we are pulling most of the steam out from this side, but this side is not being touched. And this is the uh, the side with the, the almost direct heating uh, cooling of the of the oil and the, eventually the petroleum. So this is the side that I really do quite honestly want to be better cooled. Of course, at this point, I'm now asking myself the question, what liquid do I even want to drop in there? I think it's kind of going to have to be crude oil. Unfortunately, the only crude oil we have kicking around is stuff like this. I suppose this would be the better one. Let's sweep that up. Uh, let's say that this is sweep only on the highest priority. Uh, come on, guys, bring this one across for me, please. I'm not sure who's going to get at it, but someone needs to. Okay, Mad Frank's taking up the mantle. It might be a little bit too much crude oil, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, let's now take this off of the highest priority and see see what two oh yeah yeah but that that was too much we're just gonna let that roll though because nah Okay, with no time called, we get to have a quick look around and see what has been done at the base. Here you can see that all of the uh, extra liquid lines and gas lines have been taken down. I kind of want to just dig that one out so we can get that little mop job going on there. I'm keeping this bit of unknown here. I don't know if you guys are aware. For some reason, this didn't reveal itself when we came down and around and started working on this little area. So uh, I'm, I'm now avoiding it. I'm just like, yeah, let's, let's keep a little patch of unknown going in the base. All this area seems to be done apart from in here for some reason this line of heavy wire just doesn't want to leave us it's like yo i'm staying i am staying and you cannot get rid of me and people have not come over this way but that's fine because that's all the way over here and they will get to that tomorrow probably i'm hoping so i'm hoping so ah uh, they rest so peacefully overnight the ones that are sleeping anyway Looking at this little area up here, I think we might be producing more chlorine than we're dealing with. So I'm going to plant one more vine and see if that's uh, adequate or not. Ah, uh, Shraddock has got some good work going over on this side. Right, down on the water level. Let's get down here and let's have a look. I was saying that I've got some ideas on how we can make this better. It's going to mostly involve insulating almost all of this area. I'm going to drag these out like this uh, and we're going to also dig this area out here. You might be going, wait, this isn't insulating. Well, it's not at the moment, but if I take a ventilator, go for the gas pump, and start pumping all of the liquids out, uh, sorry, the liquids, all of the gases out of here, we'll end up with a vacuum around this steam water geyser. Now, the reason that I want to do this is if we have a look at the properties, it is 99 degrees, and it will always stay at 99 degrees, which means it doesn't matter how much cooling I do down here, we're always going to have a gradient going from almost 100 degrees here down to whatever it is I've got down there, uh, which means I've just got to work harder and harder and harder to keep everything cool. So what I want to do is isolate it all off. And this That's where this all comes in. Uh, right, so let's grab a pipe, and I don't know where we're going to set... Well, obviously, we're going to send it just off to the waistline that I've taken out mostly now. But, you know, we'll, we'll figure out a way to get there. Which one, in fact, is the waistline? It's going to be one of these, right? 
Okay, technically this one's hydrogen return, and as we are returning hydrogen, that's okay, is it? I, I don't I don't know whether it is or not. Uh, I'm actually going to go as far as to gas bridge in, which is a bit weird that I double gas bridge, uh, but it, it'll, it'll work out. It will work out fine. Then where do we grab some power for this? It'll be around some... Oh, I could just literally come off of this. Uh, I probably want to actually get some sort of transformer, or perhaps even set up a small wheel. Ah, our impromptu liquid lock is is finished. Uh, if I press F4, you can see we've got a little blob of liquid up on top here. That's cool. That worked out incredibly well for me. I'm also then going to go along, break these down. That should give us me. That should give me, sorry, a way of getting my duplicates in, up, and out. Uh, so we can fix these liquid bridges. Now the next problem is, of course, the fact that I'm then going to have to try and break some of these pipes, which is uh, it's not really what I want to do. We're going to end up breaking a whole load of petroleum on the floor, and uh, that's going to make me quite sad. But if we do that and that, uh, it should end up working out for us. Uh, I'm going to say, hey, let, let's do these really, really quickly, guys. As, as soon as you feel the need to come along and help, if you could do so, that would be great. All right, here they are literally on their way as we are talking. Through the corner, misalign, that's pretty smart. We're not going to... I've made a mistake. I've made a very, very bad mistake. Okay, let's try and fix whatever mistakes I've made. So the insulated tile, that is deconstructing. That's good. Uh, we've got igneous rock, insulated tile. Uh, these are the only things here. Whew, okay, let's go into this liquid pipe. Cancel, deconstruct. This it might even be top of the top of the problems you know okay let's let's hope that they're just gonna go ahead and fix those pretty quickly there not get into any more troubles okay so they've not gone and done that which is uh incredibly surprising where are you guys even going i'm hoping you're going to get some materials pause the game going to dig what down here really you're going to dig and you yourself are going to deconstruct right up Dude, really, seriously. <laughs> well, we, we spilled a little bit more liquid, but that's uh, that's no problem for us. In fact, it's set up two layers of liquid here, meaning that we don't even have to rely on that single blob there, which is good because we washed that away. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I am wondering who a the builders? This, this was the highest priority jobs, and it looks like people uh, are just waiting on Jelly. Where are you, Jelly? He's on his way. He's a little way behind, but he's on his way. He just dropped the stuff and ran away. Why? Why? Ah, oh, no. Oh, this lead should totally have been frozen by now. Look, it's uh, so solid at 327 and we're at 324. Uh, I reckon if we get down to 323, we'll uh, definitely see a frozen liquid there. A frozen solid, sorry. My, my bad. But will this actually be able to do so? I don't know. It's behind an insulated pipe. So, oh, there we go. Bam, as we were talking about it. Ah, oh, I love it. Brilliant. Brilliant. We're definitely headed in the right direction. I <laughs> very politely come and asked everyone to tidy this up so that we can empty it out. We desperately need all of this liquid and stuff down here to be gone. Even though it is actually relatively cool by the standards of down here, uh, it needs to come out so it stops uh, extracting heat from the system and uh, other things like that. And with that little job done, I think we're just going to seal this back up. Beautiful. Wonderful. Uh, amazing. Shall we uh, let a bunch of liquid get dropped down here? I think we need to do that, and I think we need to do that right now. Can't miss. Let it go. Oh, ideally all over jelly. No, no. Okay, but we're going to let that all drop in here, and it should all almost instantly turn... Look at that. What do we call this? A, a crude oil snot? I don't know. But look at it like all come down here. It should be warming up. Uh, if we come over here and have a look at the crude oil, eventually it will warm up to 399. Wow. Uh, and then get turned over into petroleum. That should happen anyway, because the thermosensor here has told this door that it's got cold and that door has closed shut and it's starting to allow this magma to start to swell up. I'm sure we had more blocks under here. Maybe they've melted. I mean, that that's cool, right? Okay, so as I was saying before I went and distracted myself, as I seem to do quite often, uh, the only thing that's stopping us getting in there is, of course, this thermo sensor. So we can go in and start pumping out all the gas from around this salt geyser and make it nice and cool. Now, there's a nice easy way of doing that. I just changed this number to 60 and uh, instantly all of this opens up and becomes available to us. Uh, now, hopefully, we should see Mad Frank and Missaline almost instantly come in and decide that they need to help on this because uh, I pumped the... Pumped 
the priorities up quite high. I'm not sure whether Miss is going to be able to get through and do all the digging here. So if I put a, uh, a ladder down just there, for some reason it didn't want to place. Water, uh, water, water leaf there. Okay, let's try, let's try like that instead. I, I mean, I might even go as far as to take out the entire entire uh, little rock outlet there but we'll, we'll just wait and see what goes on with these guys it's a good job we haven't tidied anything up um and we would we wouldn't have got all these materials so quickly if we did what's this liquid line where does this go doesn't appear to be attached to anything let's get rid of it all the way up to here looks to be like some sort of waste line i, I don't know actually honestly where is it even oh it's what we use to pump the ethanol around okay that makes more sense all right, beautiful. The vacuuming begins. It's gonna take a while to get out there, and I wasn't I was a little bit surprised, sorry, to see the carbon dioxide in there. I, I didn't even notice it when we were knocking down uh, knocking down any of the blocks, but there must have been a little pocket of it caught somewhere, because, of course, duplicates didn't bring it in here. They're in their little protective suits. <laughs> There's this tiny little blob of hydrogen left. Maybe two grams? I, I don't know whether that's two grams or 0.198 grams. I, I, I don't know which way that goes. Uh, but yeah, there's a tiny, tiny little amount. One of my favorite things to do is hang around and wait for this to uh, to completely pump out. At some point, it's going to start going into milligrams for the rest of this. Micrograms, milligrams? I, I don't know which one it is. Um, anyway, it's gonna, yeah, it's going to do that for all of this down here. But look, we got, we're getting little pockets that are being caught down here. And I'm wondering how well the, the suction is going on. Well, 20, 26.4 grams and dropping. Yeah, I, I guess that's going quite well. Oh, we're down to low numbers. It's going to happen soon. The hydrogen keeps getting split up and dragged into the pump, but we are getting very, very close. Down to several hundred milligrams over here. What have we got over this side? Uh, getting a little bit higher up, 3,000. I was waiting to see whether this little cross would expand out a little bit more or not. Uh, it doesn't look like that is happening. One thing that I'm trying to make happen is get this mesh tile built down underneath here. I've got a little bit of water, and I don't like it. It's literally just that I don't like it. It's not because it's like slowing down the system or connecting over to neutronium and bridging uh, the temperature or anything like that just so i don't like it neutronium incidentally can't pass temperature that that's why i'm not that worried about it this side of the pump is down to some very low pressures now. Got to wonder when it's going to just start registering as vacuum. You'd want it to go down to zero, obviously, but um, like, how, do, how does this go all the way down? To, ooh, look, it happened in front of us. Nice, nice. There we go. The water's been dealt with. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, yeah, but how, how low will it go? I have seen it get down to about four micrograms before. Uh, I think that's probably the lowest number I've seen. Mostly interesting what's going to happen to the hydrogen, obviously. One thing I noticed, the lower the pressure we get to, the lower the difference between the two sides is. I don't know if that means anything or anything, but that, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. New record for lowest uh, measurement seen without actually being a vacuum. We're into micrograms. It must be micrograms. The last one was milligrams. I don't know. MCG? I don't know. That's half of my previous record. Uh, keep going down. Keep going down. The hydrogen, as, sl as small as it is, has already split itself up into three. Wow. Oh, it's spreading further. It's spreading further. Oh, this is cool. This is really, really cool. Ah, the power died. No. Okay, well, what are we at? We're going to stabilize out. Oh, oh, it's back. It's back. We climbed back up to 3,000 micrograms, though. Triple digits. Can we see double? Are we going to see double? That's the question. No, not if the power keeps dying. We're not. Oh, we're getting down low now. Less than 500. I've got to say, I am surprised at the number of times the hydrogen has, like, split itself in half, thrown half of itself into the gas pump as sacrifice, and ran away over this side looking for pastures of lower pressure, but not realizing that the lowest pressure is actually coming from the gas pump. It's a, it's a bit of a shocking story to watch play out all the time, if I'm to be honest with you. Down to 300 micrograms. Come on, let me, let me see those double figures. I want to see, like, 50. So I noticed that despite the fact that it shows a decimal point on this number, it's not actually using them. If you can see, the whole numbers are cl uh, climbing down, uh, sometimes jumping back up, but mostly we're going down 1, 3, 4, 3, 4, 40, but whatever, whatever the number actually is, the, uh, the decimal point, totally useless in this scenario. Double figures. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. 95. What are we up over here? Still a thousand over here. So that that uh, disproportionate gradient that I was talking about, it's back to where we were. 
We seem to have somewhat plateaued out at about 14 micrograms. It's not going down any further. Ooh, if it does, it goes down very, very slowly. Over this side, we're into the, like the 200s regime. That's pretty cool. Oh, we had a six for the hydrogen. Ah, it's, it's, it's looking cool. Oh, we are still dropping single figures now. I wasn't expecting to see it. How much lower will it go? Are we going to see one? That was my phone. Oh, we, we have free floating chunks of vacuum now. This is interesting. Oh, it, dis it disappeared over there. That's very, very interesting. But we are down to like two micrograms. There we go. We're down into single figures around for some of these. And it's a, it's a clear corner. It's a clear corner. This is cool. We need just a little bit more pump pressure coming on here. Okay, is this, is this gas going to be able to make its way across? How is this going to end up working out here? I would very much like to know because... We we've got a, we've got a lot of gas and we got one pump. What what's this? It it's really sailed into equilibrium here, hasn't it? Oh no, we're gonna have to build another one over here. I wasn't really planning on doing this. Okay, well we'll do this and up to here. Oh man, I'd like managed to start tidying everything up and everything. Ah, oh, all right. Then then that goes up and into that. Okay, cool. Let's uh let's not make that high priority, shall we? Actually, actually, the more I'm watching this, the more it just is disappearing. No reason, it just disappeared. All right, there must be some sort of minimum that the game likes to keep, and as it kept on trying to spread out, it was reaching that minimum. That's my guess anyway. Now, I've also set up a thermal lock down here just in case we need to cool this down more than this is going to allow. But looking at it, I think we are doing pretty well. You can see this has now actually brought itself down to like 60, 70 degrees. This is much lower than we were beforehand. All right, with that one water section taken care of, I'm going to come up to this side because I want to move this thermal aqua tuna. It is chilling down the water that is coming out of this system over here. I feel like warming up this particular bit of water over here with it is in fact causing us troubles. As you can see, 70 four degrees not the best in the world now this thermal aqua tuner is made out of aluminium that is not going to cut it because in here we have got some very very hot steam first thing we have to do is destroy that and destroy these walls here because we're going to come through and try and make uh make this place a little bit more convenient for us and we're also going to rip down all of this stuff because it's just it's not necessary let's be honest here okay first things first thermal aqua tuner with the uh oh oh i can't I can't put it in until the ladder's gone. I was going to put the thermal aqua tune up with some uh, steel in, but uh, it turns out we got to wait. You know, one thing I've never considered is the thermal properties of all the automation back here. I wonder whether it's going to hold on to the cold for longer, because obviously we're trying to cool this whole area down. If you think about the end situation where this is nice and cold, but this has pumped all the water out, uh, we're going to be getting lots of warm water come in via this way. But I wonder whether the automation is going to hold on to enough cold to kickstart the cooling process down. I kind of hope so. This saltwater sort of geyser is about to go active in like five cycles or so, and I'm a little bit worried about what's going to happen if the water ends up rising to the point where it can actually contact the saltwater geyser. But if, the, if that actually looks like it's going to happen, I think what I might do is put a whole bunch of mesh tiles down here and then some uh, some insulated tiles up the side so the water can flow out and down but keep some... I was going to say an airlock up here, but of course it is a vacuum. Mm, so there wouldn't be any pressure to keep it pushed down. I don't know. Any ideas on how to keep these two separated? That would be very nice to know. All right, back up to the steam chamber over here. We've got Miss Line coming along do some digging. Looks like she's also done the deconstruct. That's pretty cool. This is going to take a little bit of a while for this to... Actually, uh, I think we need to open it first if the yeah controls have been uh, disabled on here. So this used to be hooked up to an automation signal. I assume that it was locked from this signal uh, being, being put into it. Uh, and the only way we can then open the airlock afterwards is, of course to tell it that we do need to open. Oh, that's that's not fair. No, come back. Uh... Okay, it's the next day and I'm starting to think about how we're going to be automating this uh, this this cooling down process over here. Uh, we do, of course, need to have this ga uh, gas line in, sorry, liquid line in and a liquid line out. This is going to be the line going in here and we're going to jump it over there. Now, what we actually want to do is to have this coming through here. I don't actually want to do it like this, do I? We want to have a liquid shutoff valve coming literally right there. I think that's how we want to do this. I want to make sure that I can cancel that pipe underneath. Uh, then if we... Stop, 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 stop. We then want to put a 
pipe, a liquid bridge, sorry, going here. And then we have the pipe coming up. Okay, so what happens is it goes through the aqua tuna and it comes down and we get a temperature reading. If the temperature says it's too cold, then this um, shut off valve here will pick up the water and push it back in. Sorry, if it's too hot, we'll pick up the water and push it back in. Uh, taking priority over this bridge here, as you can see, it goes underneath the bridge and the bridge is trying to place down on top. That's the way my brain works, uh, thinks throw about it anyway. Uh, and then that can then come down and that should be good as long as we can get the actual aqua tuna in there. Who is on this job? Uh, it turns out we're good. Who is on this job? Turns out nobody yet. We're going to have to wait and see what happens with all of this. Uh, also, incidentally, this was all orange out here, and we only ripped this down last night. It's uh, it's really starting to to seep through. The the quicker we can get this done, the better. I suppose this is prime candidate for where we really want one of those thermal locks. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wall it back up. Let's not worry about it. <laughs> it turns out this door was on the the wrong access settings. There we go. Mr. Line is going to do it. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Whilst we're doing that, let's get the thermal aqua tuner. We got it on Wolframite. Which way is the in, and which way is the out? The in is the white, so I want to do it that way around i think that's the way we want to do it next thing we've got to figure out is how to get power in here thankfully that is all just done through conductive wire i didn't actually think about that when we were doing this but uh there we go that's nice and simple oh cubic what are you doing cubic what are you doing why are you going in there why picking up salt i mean okay i suppose get out go on but no it's too high pressure and it's too hot go go be gone see this is the proper protective equipment this is what you're supposed to be using ah look that so I was looking down this hole here. I was going, oh, look at this water. Isn't it nice? And we've got built this nice little uh, containment unit for all of the water to go down. You might remember that we built this a little while ago. Uh, but then I noticed all the polluted oxygen. I was like, oh, what's up with this? And then I noticed all the slime long. And I'm like, oh, but what? Why? Why is this a thing? And if you come all the way down here, this... This is why it's a thing. Hey there, little morb. How you doing? I don't really want to kill you, but I do want to try and contain the things that you do. So we're going to start with a deodorizer here and here, and then maybe another one right there. And I think the final one would go well here. Okay, I'm not sure whether that one's even reachable, to be honest, but that, that should help clean up at least the uh, the bit above him. Oh dear, the water's started to flow. We need to uh, need to get this system up online as soon as... But why is it backing up? Why is it backing up? That's not... No. Oh, 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 I built this large power transformer out of steel. Didn't really mean to do that, but it will do. I think we've got enough excess steel on the go. If I press F6 now, we should see the whole system start to run through. One thing I haven't done is set a temperature or even put the wire in place. I'm actually going to do this on a super by high priority because I just noticed nighttime has been struck and I really want this to work. I've just noticed that this is not a fail-safe system. If the power dies on this, as I have watched it do, uh, some water coming out of here could be at 50 degrees, say. Let's say it comes out here. This goes, oh no, you're not fit, you're not underneath 10 degrees. And this should mean that this liquid shuttle valve then picks up. But actually what is happening is it's bypassing because the power is not, not there. So what I want to do is change this to below and then uh, swap the liquid shuttle valve around 45 degrees. So that, that should be 45 degrees? You can't even do 45 degrees on this game. 90 degrees is, of course, what I mean. Facing downwards. I spotted a little bit of lead in the bottom here and I was like, oh no, oh no. And indeed, we have broken uh, the power line here. That's that's not great. If to, to be honest about it, that is not great at all. Who's going to do this one as well? Looks like no one yet. Uh, because these... Uh, these conductive wire here are being worked on by Misaline and Mad Frank. Indeed, where are they? Oh, they're here they are. Here they are. Beautiful. So hopefully we can connect all that together and not have a bad time. Let's uh, let's just grab that last bit of connect conductive wire. Come off of the highest priority there. And hopefully we can just connect that together and it will be sound, maybe? Possibly? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where this uh, insulated pipe hasn't been turned on, we have turned around a bit of water here quite a few times. 36 degrees. Minus 36 degrees. Degrees. Uh, yeah, we're going to have trouble if we can't get this one done very, very soon. I thought people were going to be just straight on it anyway, but we are going to have to uh, turn up the alert system here. Oh, I'm totally talking to you over a bit of footage from the park. Look what she just did there. Like, that, I've literally just watched that. I wanted to roll back the footage and go, oh, I just spent ages moving other people around to make sure that they wouldn't get stuck in there. And then Miss goes and jumps in, like, seriously. I can see some issues maybe arising here. So we're uh, sending down water 
water about 10 degrees. Uh, now, obviously, we've got this other outlet of water coming down here, and we want to try and maybe try and cool it down. I don't think we do, actually. I think all I want to do is just uh, hook that up across there and maybe break this. And, and in fact, actually, we're going to break the whole lot of this here, but uh, we want, to, want the water to start making its way past for us. Yeah, just like that. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's, br let's break all this. Just a minor water spillage from breaking some pipes. Nothing, nothing to worry about. <laughs> One thing I am a little bit worried about is this input here stealing the flow from this area. So we're going to have to break this liquid shut off valve as well, which means whatever temperature the waters are in this pipe at, we're just going to be pumping it through. What are you doing over here, Cubic? Well, I suppose you're making sure these wheeze warts are fine. I mean, that that's cool. It's a little warm in there, mate. All right, we are actively cooling this water and we are bringing it down to about 16 degrees. I've said anything under 20. Oh, sorry. Yeah, anything under 20 to, uh, to send through. That's gone red again because these were holding back. You might wonder what this extra liquid bridge was here for. Uh, when we had just the bridge and these two inputs, the water didn't know which way to go. So I had to give it a little bit of a, a, an extra reminder that when it goes this way, it's got to continue the flow back that way. Uh, so yeah, that, that should that should sort us out much nicer here. I'm watching this water get added to this water now. I'm wondering what that's going to do to the temperature. I'm also wondering how much it's going to back up here uh, to see how the, the system reacts on the long term. I think it really he is just going to start adding little bits into it and bringing the temperature up but that's fine because every time it goes round it brings the temperature back down a little bit uh, and then we should be back down to uh, under 20 degrees so we're at about 30 or 40 is pushing it back up I saw a 26 there but the 36 is probably more likely until we get down to the 14 I find it interesting that we've got some so low and some so high I'm not sure exactly what has caused that but I uh, am interested to see that it has indeed been caused also interesting to see the little little blobs being added on occasionally very very nice Okay, so now that we've dealt with all this, I suppose we can get rid of all of the pipes and the aqua tuna, maybe even this temperature sensor. Let's deconstruct that. Beautiful, beautiful. Is there any other wirings or such in the background that we need to get rid of? All right, that looks like we have now tidied that up quite well. There is one last thing I want to tidy up during this base maintenance day, and that is these pipes here. We've got ourselves a nice little collection. Am I not allowed to do that? Okay, a nice little collection of liquid pipes down under under here and whilst I do want to keep a few of them in fact I probably want to keep no, no, we're just going to get rid of them. We're just going to get rid of them all, and then that will leave us a whole bunch of materials to work with down here. Because, of course, as I have said multiple times now, uh, our main get aim here is to actually separate this area down below into a couple of separate sections. In fact, I even want to have a third section over here. This one is going to be doing the most of the bulk of the cooling, trying to bring it down into equilibrium with the uh, with the steam here, bringing it down to, you know, 100 or so degrees. 150 would be lovely. 200 also works. When we get down to 200, I'm going to open these doors up, whereupon we allow this liquid here. As you can see, it's down at 70 right now. I'd really like to actually get it down to 100, but that's that's just not going to work, I don't think. Uh, but we could use this to then cool down this little pocket of oil here down to an acceptable temperature before we then pass it on to our pump, which has to, remember, be down at a, a relatively low temperature. If we come in and have a look at our liquid pump, even if we make it with steel, uh, it's still 275 I mean, that, that might work, actually. That might work. We could probably put that there, have this cooling down. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, 275 is very hot to pump into uh, petroleum generators. And of course, the big sad from the way we've set this up is we are going to have to say, hey, if below 300, open that door. That's now allowing all of this to uh, to flow through. I'm a little bit worried that it is actually going to push the temperature back up to 300. Maybe we want to turn it to 400. But mostly, I want my guys to be able to get down here and uh, P0 come and clean all this up. Maybe maybe also place down these uh, these insulated tiles. In fact, yeah, let's let's do that because I've got a feeling one of the things that's holding me back is this fossil passing all the temperature from down here up and into this. Uh, yep, no, it went above 300. Now Miss is like stuck in here. Uh, doesn't look like she's got anything else to do. So let's put that up to 400 and she can go, go get the stuff. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, deconstructed a tower and let a whole bunch of petroleum across the top. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. It just looks a little worse. <laughs> oh, wow. It took us till halfway through the night to get those uh, those doors installed. And I'm going to go back down to 200, please. Oh, my gosh. Look how much extra th uh, th uh, temperature. I was going to say extra thermometer there. Wow. My, my English proper does break sometimes. Uh, but, yeah, look at the extra temperature we've now got in here. We were bringing this down to sub 300. And now we're back up to 320 with molten lead in there, no less. Wow. Well, so where did the petroleum go? During all of this, I have noticed a growing problem. As we look here, you can see the petroleum is starting to come out at um, a fairly cold temperature. 30 degrees means we are getting very close to being close to the minimum petroleum can be at, which is minus 50. Uh, seeing as we've come from the soaring heights of like 350 degrees, to be down into double figures means we are getting very, very close to actually having a bit of a problem. If I press this, yeah, this is coming down to 49 degrees. That's nice. That's nice. I want to get these two bits of insulated tile uh, and destruction and also the thermal pu thermo pipe sensor. Incidentally, thermal pipe sensor made out of iron, uh, made out of uh, uh, the thing that I'm looking for is lead. Uh, made out of lead, not melting. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, it's a bit of a tangled mess of intrigue and wonder, but we'll see if we can't get it turning over. I'm not sure why it's going up and across like that. Are we getting a pipe block situation? Well, what should be happening is the the uh, petroleum comes up here and it goes into this first uh, little bit, uh, first thermal aqua tuna input. The insulated pipe should be like, hey, you're above zero degrees. The thermal, in uh, the thermal aqua tuna can just go ahead and work. So it picks it up and pushes it through. I'm not sure exactly why it's not just picking it up and pushing it through that's a bit of a shame but anyway uh, when it then becomes too cold it will tell the thermal aqua tuner to turn off let's just double check that I've got the yeah that's that's all hooked up while I don't know why it's not why it's not eating it all I don't know, we'll have to come up with a with, with a better better reason than this at some point I it's, look, it's, it's really not picking it up why didn't it not pick it up okay I'm gonna try and destroy the little bit of pipe back there and see if that makes it better at the moment the only thing oh, i shouldn't have put it on that high priority hang about let's do that because the only reason i see it not flowing the way i want it to flow right now yeah is if the pipe ends up being uh covered yeah i think i think this now should work a lot better in fact is is this do i have it right do we want to go up and back down and pass that i think i think that's actually right what we want to do is then destroy oh, I, know, I know we don't we want to destroy this joint but if i destroy this one here we can then put it back into place, yeah. Okay, Mimi was on her way down anyway uh, for the other pipe job, so that should work out pretty well for us. If I grab this, uh, ready to put back down in its place. Hopefully, we're not going to spill any petroleum, uh, and by doing that, bam. Can we? Oh, there was a little bit of petroleum spill, but that's all right. We know how to deal with that. We're going to try just mopping it up. I think that's a good point, good way to start, right? Oh, this, this, this is not great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a tip from earlier and use some mesh tiles. Maybe we can pick up the phosphorus at this rate as well. All right, the mesh tile trick is working. I've also got a new liquid bridge in place to try and increase the amount of steam we've got in here. We were definitely running more than a little bit low. Let's uh, P9 this again, and hopefully when this slams down closed, Miss will be like, oh, the only thing I can do is go around and pick up the liquids. And in fact, bam, there we go. It should now be nice and closed for her to go around and actually do that nice hopefully we can get some uh, petroleum and some phosphorus into bottles uh she's she's not going to come over this way miss why would you do this oh some something's got very badly wrong here look at this the aqua tuna has taken half damage oh we we must have over chilled there's no oh overheat oh no oh no it is overheating mm. Now I'm like, I wonder if I can build uh, some some thermal insulation here to protect me from the searing heat that comes out and up and over. I was expecting 200 degrees. Instead, we've got 400. Oof. I think my plan is going to be to actually move it up here somewhere. Okay, so I have an insane number of stuff set up here ready to go. Mostly it's replacing the thermal aqua tuner here with, uh, you know, one that works. Uh, let's say that we want to deconstruct that, and I'm also going to then put some mesh tile down underneath if it would actually let me replace that. Okay, let's go with this. I definitely want this. Yeah, it's already on the highest par priority that we can actually do, so that's going to work out pretty well. People coming through to destroy these tiles here that needs to be done to allow people to get down and through. I, I literally, I want to 
do this. I want this to be like so important that everybody in the base is getting on it. Apart from Cubic, who um, is going to go burn himself inside this hot room of wonder and destruction. All right, that, that's fine. That's fine. Scolding. Uh, we'll, we'll send you. In fact, should we do it right now? I think we should send. Uh, whilst the, whilst the alarm is raging around us, let's send Cubic over to the med bay, and then hopefully everything down here can get fixed uh, without his uh, without his constant whining about how he's burning to death. I mean, like wow. Oh no, Decipher's in the wrong place. Let's, uh, wait, where is he? Down here somewhere. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? Decipher. No. Also, uh, Cubic. No. <laughs> Okay, this looks like it's going to work out a lot better. It turns out down below was just too hot. We were getting up to like 400 degrees. Don't ask me how, because even now, though, it's like outgassing. We're at like 260. At no point did it reach up to the heights that we were seeing there. But that's fine. That's fine. Over here, 280, 290. This is actually starting to raise up in temperature quite high. I would like to get these little bits of iron in front of it out of the way. And hopefully we're not going to reach the 325. But oh, man, that is, that is looking hot. Toasty, toasty. Well, despite the power issues, I think that's now sorted out this entire system over here. You can see that we've moved the aqua tuna up to stop it overheating, and it is slowly but surely processing the water down, getting down to about 15, 20 degrees before passing it down into the system down here. Don't really need to have this uh, this stacking system anymore, but as you can see, it's coming out at about 17. We do have some high temperatures still coming through, but I think that is a knock-on effect of having these high temperature waters in here. As well as that, we also came down and saw it out the water system down here seems to be flowing pretty well we're at 56 degrees that's not really dropped the temperature at all from where we were last time how are we coming up 47 coming out of uh this system here which means we are still warming up all our hydrogen to about 30 degrees it's not the end of the world and down here we have isolated this a little patch of crude oil uh what we want to do next is sort this door out to uh hook up to a, uh, a temperature sensor on this side so that when or maybe even this side so that when it comes down to a cool enough temperature we can let this through one other thing that we have set up down here that i didn't think you guys had seen yet is our giant giant crusher let's let the uh, this auto save go through and if i hit the automation here you can see that it all starts from this timer down here much like this one over here we go upwards much like this one into a buffer gate and into a not gate that then tells these doors up here to close just a little bit later than these first ones here these ones are hooked up straight to a not gate and they are moving in to the uh, into these bottom doors down here. So when the signal turns green, the bottom doors close down shut. We should have a whole bunch of gases inside here. I can just about see them, and then they get crushed down. Now, I want to increase this red duration to about 50. Let's do that. And this should allow all the gases to seep up and in. Beautiful, beautiful. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we just did all of that stuff that I've been talking about. And next time, we will be trying to get down a little pump in here and then maybe having a whole huge amazing amount of petrol generators i think we're going to do something called the industrial steam block uh just because i want to have so many generators it's easier just to turn all of their atmosphere into steam and pick them up with the heat deletion steam turbine thingies but i'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye